Stretching from Queensland to WA, Australia's longest shortcut, the Outback Way, looks set for a revamp. A road through the desert, um, we're building it and it's going to happen. $675 million to seal and upgrade roads through the middle of the country, cutting travel time for tourists and freight. Stretching the width of the Territory, around 20% of the money will land in Central Australia. $124 million will go to sealing sections of the Plenty Highway and Jukaruru Road. The pledge follows a weekend of election pitches in the NT, but the Deputy Prime Minister says this isn't a campaign promise. We're already starting it and this is putting more money into it. So it's not as this, oh, you're talking about maybe in the future if you win the election. This is booked. This is now there. The money is there. It follows a Labor opposition promise of $200 million to remote and rural NT roads if it wins the election. Prioritising an all-weather access road to Maningrida in East Arnhem Land and upgrades to the Marini Loop and Santa Teresa Road in Central Australia. It's making sure that we don't see um, politicians fly in from interstate and, and make announcements that are headline grabbing. We really need to see that investment go uh, to where Territorians want it to go and where it will support not only tourism industry but the pastoral industry and others. It's been a 25-year wait for the Outback Way to be fully sealed and with no clear deadline it could still be a while yet. Hopefully while I'm still in politics so I can come along and, and, parade, and parade my wares in front of everybody. The cross-continent connection still a rough ride, for now at least. Saskia Mabin, ABC News, Alice Springs.